Hey there guys, welcome back. Today I want to give you a tour of my rainwater gardening project where I grow corn and squash off of nothing but the rainwater here in the Arizona desert. It's a pretty cool project I've been doing for a few years where I divert water off of my road down into this little system that you see right here, collect it in this pond and use it to irrigate these crops uh, for the remainder of the growing season. So um, first I'll show you just kind of a walkthrough tour of what the system is and then after that I'll show you some live footage of what it looks like during an actual rain event. So hold on one second. Before I take you on a ground level walkthrough of the system, let me just give you the bird's eye view of what this looks like. You'll see the road or my dirt driveway in the background that provides the road runoff. There's my house over there. And from there, I have two ways for the runoff to enter the system. One right here is the primary entrance, and then there's another one right here that's a secondary entrance. The runoff comes down here, feeds this little bermed up area with 60 day corn, and any remaining water gets overflowed through this spillway and on into a retention pond. The pallets are there basically just to keep it uh, the water from evaporating. I have squash growing over on the sides here and here, and there's an overflow outlet right there. I've got a couple extra barrels that I uh, put the excess water in just for uh, uh, later irrigation needs, and the orange bucket is also for irrigation. So let me take you down and I'll just give you a little ground level walkthrough of the system, basically the flow of the water. Now that we're at ground level, I'll show you the primary route that the water takes from my dirt driveway on into the system. Coming down here, the water follows the road until it hits a little bermed up area that helps direct the water off of the road and into the system. This is the primary inlet and what you see right here is a concrete water weir that I use to help control the amount of sediment that flows into the system. I do this by adding boards as this sediment right here builds up behind it and what that does is allows the cleaner water to pass through and leave the uh, majority of the sediment on this side. From there, it runs down this channel into that little bermed up area where the corn is and any overflow just runs off to the side through this spillway and on into the retention pond. You'll see this is the channel that it takes. It flows into that pond and then basically I use that pond to irrigate three squash beds over here, one squash bed here, and there's another one right here. Right here is a little cutout in the whole bermed area of this whole system that allows any overflow water just to leave the system and uh, keep from inundating the plants with too much water. Right there is the secondary inlet for water and that just comes from that portion of the road uh, as it runs down there. There's just a view of that uh, Terra Humera squash that I have planted. And there's another one. And these three beds over here are vining up on this little trellis system. So that's pretty much it. I'll just give you another view of the system from this side. Oh, there is one other little point. Uh, you see that little piece of PVC right there? Uh, that goes up into the middle of this uh, bermed up area and allows water that comes in here to overflow and also ultimately flow into the pond as well.